Yo, it's good boxing heads and fight fans around the world. B. Marsh with another boxing video. So according to Bob Arum, a rematch is possible between Manny Pacquiao and Jeff Horn, possibly in November or December. Um, Bob Arum said he's legally, he's legally obligated to ha have this rematch in Australia because the champion, I mean the guy from Australia did win the fight according to the judges. And you know, I think he might have first dibs on where the fight should be, you know what I mean? And that's Jeff Horn. So possibly at the end of this year, we might see this fight. What are we in, July? Uh, that's about five months. Four months to November, five months to December. So we shall see, man. We shall see. We'll, um, we'll have Jeff Horn have healed by November, December. I don't think he'll be ready for November. More than likely December, you know. And, you know, I think um, a rematch... A rematch is on, is cool f only if the man Manny Pacquiao is willing to unify with the other champions, you know. If the man Manny Pacquiao isn't willing to go ahead and fight Errol Spence or Keith Thurman, if he do so happen to beat this guy, which I do believe he'll beat him in a rematch. I mean, I've seen Manny Pacquiao have a rematch with a guy like Tim Bradley. And, you know, you, he's beating him every single time, in my opinion, all three times, you know, and... Um, I know Jeff Horn brings different dimensions to the game than Timothy Bradley as far as, you know, the, the height, the reach, you know, just being the bigger physical guy as opposed to Manny Pacquiao. You know, when I watched the fight, you know, I watched it with a bunch of people and they were like, damn, this guy looks massive on Pacquiao, you know. And to me, I just had to let him, don't worry. I was like, don't worry, there's Manny Pacquiao, man. Manny Pacquiao almost always... Is fighting a guy bigger than him. I had to remind him about Margarito and even fellas like De La Hoya. If I'm not mistaken, De La Hoya and Margarito were the tallest fighters Manny Pacquiao ever fought. And the third the third tallest dude was um, Jeff Horn, you know. But um, apparently, man, Manny Pacquiao might not have that same... Um, he might not... I mean, he's obviously not the same fighter who fought Margarito and these fellas like De La Hoya, you know what I mean? Because I think Jeff Horn's not even on, on De La... Of course, he's not on De La Hoya's level, but he's not even on Margarito's level. As far as when Margarito was a, was a champion, you know what I mean? When he had a WBO strap and, you know, when uh, sometimes he was fighting fellas like Cotto and them, you know what I mean? But uh, a rematch, Manny Pacquiao doesn't want the rematch in the Philippines and, you know... Manny Pacquiao's corner, Freddie Roach, you know, unfortunately, you know, it's a good thing the boxing was on ESPN, but we did miss a lot of the, um, what goes on in the corner, you know what I mean? What's Freddie Roach telling this guy in between the rounds, you know what I'm saying? I, I have no clue because, you know, ESPN won the commercials. I'd really like to know, you know what I mean? Because, um, you know, from what uh, well, most of most of the public is saying, from the media, from Bob Arum to even the manager Michael Khan, they feel Freddie Roach did a shitty job. You know what I mean? He they felt Freddie Roach didn't um, give this man Manny Pacquiao any suggestions to adapt and or to adjust. You know what I'm saying? To this big guy who was throwing um head bunch and head butts and throwing, you know, he was on some ludicrous shit. Throw them bows. He was throwing them bows in the clinches, dog. I said it before. I had I was watching it with casuals, and they was asking me, is it legal to just throw them kind of sharp elbows like that in the clinch? I said, you know, it's a fight. You know what I'm saying? Up until the referee does something about it, Jeff Warren can get away with it. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to complain about it. It's a fight, you know. It's up to the referee's discretion to, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, to warn fighters, you know what I mean? And, um... That's what um, Bob Barham and Michael Conce are accusing Freddie Roach of not doing. Why would, wasn't he assertive as far as, you know, um, you know, getting on the referee's case and trying to, you know, tell the referee that the guy's fouling? But that's neither here nor there. The fight is over with, you know what I'm saying? I still feel Manny Pacquiao is uh, um, the same fighter I just seen beat Timothy Bradley and Jesse Vargas with ease. I don't know if the man Jeff Horn, maybe, I don't know, maybe he can beat Jesse Vargas because Lord knows we know how many gift decisions Jesse Vargas has gotten in his career. I could probably name at least three or five, three to five, you know what I mean? But uh, 
Timothy Bradley did not bring the same physical attributes like this guy did, man. This guy looked like a big 154 guy in there. Like I said, I've seen Manny Pacquiao um, fight bigger guys, you know. But I don't. I just think they didn't prepare well for Jeff the Hornet Horn, and um, that's why a rematch might be um, might be in play for December or January. I'm sorry, November or December. Manny Pacquiao would like to fight in the Philippines, you know. A lot of people are saying the man Manny Pacquiao got set up. Why the fuck he go to the Philippines? I'm sorry, to Australia, this man's backyard. You know, the man got a unanimous decision. No way should that fight have been a unanimous decision in his side, especially that 117-111 um, um, uh, uh, what was it, the score from one of the judges. You know, you know that kind of scoring right there, man. You know, some of these these people they need to go back to boxing school. They need to go back and um, to ref um, to judging school. You know what I mean? And they have to pass tests to show that they've um, you know, that they they become better judges because that was an atrocious um. That means he won nine rounds to three. Jeff Horn. <laughs> oh Lord. Anyways, so a rematch, a rematch. Like I said, only if Manny Pacquiao is willing to uh, fight um is willing to fight and unify with the other fighters you know a guy like bud crawford made it vocal was vocal on social media saying damn they made manny pacquiao go out there to lose and you know i felt his sentiments you know i mean the guy could have fought terence crawford pacquiao and he could have lost with dignity and wouldn't be no shame in his game nobody would be clowning him nobody would even um be mad at pacquiao for uh, passing on the torch you know that's actually what should have happened man Rather than Jeff Horn, who got a dubious decision, you know what I mean? Um, you know, will he be ready for December? I think he'll have healed up by then, you know what I'm saying? The man did a take a massive beating. I know everybody's seen that picture where the man is in the hospital with an ice pack over his head. And his, uh, his right eye was, was purple, you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what Manny Pacquiao is going to do next, you know what I mean? Some people are saying that the man should retire. I don't think he should retire yet, you know what I mean? I've seen, I mean, there are fighters who are still fighting right now who are older than him, you know, but Manny Pacquiao will be 39 come December, you know, and you don't find too many great fighters, you no know, 39, 40 year old welterweights, you know what I'm saying? It just, you just don't see that, you know what I mean? So Bob Arum, you know, people say, you know, Bob Arum, you know, you know, Bob Arum, uh, you know, how how convenient is it that the man um, was became a co-promoter with Duco Promotions in Australia to promote this guy for this particular fight, Jeff Horn? You know the man uh, the man um, Bob Arum was was telling everybody this guy got a chance he might beat Manny Pacquiao. The WBO president, you know, he was already on his way handing this guy Jeff Horn the the title even before. All the scorecards were read, you know what I mean? So that was dubious. You know, the letter that the man wrote, this guy, Jeff Horn, you know, it just seemed a little scripted, you know. It seemed scripted, man, like on some WWF shit, you know what I mean? But um, it is what it is, man. A rematch should be in play, you know what I mean? The WBO is not looking to um, reverse the decision, which they shouldn't. They shouldn't have to reverse the decision, you know. You guys have made your decision. It is what it is. Unlike the WBO, the WB, I'm sorry, the WBA this year when they've been um, dubious decisions, they're ordering rematches immediately, which is a good look, you know. And if this fight right here gets a rematch immediately, I'd like to see that, you know what I'm saying? I'd like to see that, you know, just to see if this guy is really the real deal or is he a fluke. You know, I've heard some channels here saying that this guy, Jeff Horn, is a real deal and he'll give Thurman and Errol Spence trouble. I don't know about that because I didn't even see him beat Pacquiao, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to argue with people, you know. I mean, everybody got their opinion, you know. One man, if a man come tell me that they had Jeff Horn winning, what the fuck I'm going to do? It's not my decision or my place to try to make the man change his thoughts. That's your decision, dogs. You, that's what you've seen. I'm not going to question your boxing knowledge. I, I will, though, if you're a guy who is consistently don't know shit about boxing you know but they're respected people out here on youtube who i really respect who see this fight in favor of jeff horn and you know it is what it is you know i respect their opinion fellas like naota you know one of the best 
my opinion, boxing minds here on YouTube. You know, you know, it's it's crazy. It's it's funny that I'm. You know, some of the most you know, it's most respected in my opinion, the most respected um minds on YouTube. You know, who I feel are, uh do know they boxing. You know, some of them pick Pacquiao, and you know, some of these channels um they might not get as much um subscriptions just like i do you know like other channels other channels might have mass subscribers but they really don't know shit about boxing or let me not say they don't know shit about boxing i i, I peep it like this right i think it's them channels that um that don't even really go you know that may, might have a lot of subscribers yeah they might have um a good channel and whatnot you know what i mean but i feel like them channels kind of are geared towards the casual fan, you know what I mean? Because sometimes I read the comments in these in these um, comment sections of these other channels that it might have a large subscription base, and I see a lot of casual talk, you know, as opposed to going to a channel like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's say like mine, for instance, where if you go in the comment section, you know, you might see me talking with fellas about some. Um, you know, some, uh, just some old school stuff. I ain't gonna lie, that's what really gets my motor running, you know what I mean? When we talk some old school shit, man. We could talk, be on a hangout talking about maybe some current stuff. If it's interesting, it is. But when it comes to that old school talk, man, I'm on it like Hornet, you dig? I'm on it like Jeff Hornet, you know what I mean? You know, so, um, people, you know, in the decision went how it did, and, um, I ain't, I ain't gonna make too many qualms about it. I said what I had to say. You know what I'm saying? If you feel Jeff Horn won the fight, I respect your opinion. You know, I think the man Manny Pacquiao was um, put in this position by uh, because, you know, he didn't want to fight the real welterweight so, or, or even guys like Crawford. You know, he was trying to cherry pick Jeff Horn, a guy who he is. He said, I've never seen fight. And, you know... He had to pay the piper, you know what I mean? <laughs> he had to pay the piper for real, you know? So um, a rematch, I think, would be good, you know? But only if the man Manny Pacquiao wants to fight and unify with the other champions. All the mother champions from Keith Thurman to Errol Spence want unification. It was only Bob Barham who was talking about a unification sucks and it don't, don't make sense. See, Bob Barham is a fishy snake eyes character, dogs. And if you don't think... This man Bob Aram is capable of corruption or rigging shit. I told y'all in a previous video, man. The man has been um, indicted by the federal government before with um, allegations of rigging fights. You know what I'm saying? You know, alongside with the IBF and Robert Lee, who was the president of the IBF them times. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Fed of the Feds had to get involved. You know, we're investigating the man Bob Aram. You know what I'm saying? And you know. So it's not um, it's not out of this realms of reality to, for me to consider that this fight wasn't rigged, but um, it is what it is. You know, Manny Pacquiao he himself didn't do what a guy like Errol Spence did. You know, you gotta go to a man's backyard and not leave it in the judge's decision. You know, you can't leave it in the judge's hands. You know what I'm saying? And that's where he fucked up. And when you do stuff like that, you know. He was playing with the man. The man was playing for three, four rounds early, getting caught with punches and smiling with the man, Jeff Horn. This is what's going to happen, especially in the man's backyard, you know. 117, 111, they're going to be in favor for their guy, man. So even if they're not from, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, from the United States or the Philippines, you're going to get these type of judgment calls if you ain't on top of your game. So a rematch is possible December. Manny would like it in the Philippines. Jeff Horn, I'm sure they team going to insist with Bob Bam, who says he's legally obligated to first have the fight, consider having the fight in Australia. And why not? The champion should call the shots. It's not on Manny's turf no more. You know what I'm saying? Jeff Horn, you call the shots. You make the rematch where you want to make it. Just make sure Manny Pacquiao, you're going to show up. Be Marsh Boxer, leave your thoughts and comments, and I'm going to catch you on the next bit. Peace.